I'm James from Yeti Ice Blasting and uh, we just finished up a job in Muncie, Indiana where the insurance carrier reached out to us and uh, they had a steel frame building with uh, steel panels all over it, a large warehouse about 16,000 square feet and uh, they were expecting to have to take off all the steel panels after a fire because the, uh, the insulation was, um, was kind of trapped between the girders and the panels and so they, it was all full of smoke and uh, they didn't have an option other than taking off the solar panels on the roof and uh, the, the panels themselves, ordering new panels, bringing it all back and refitting. They had initial uh, estimates of three quarters of a million dollars to, uh, to produce that work and it was going to be six months only because the steel panels themselves were so far out and um, on back order. And so they asked us if uh, ice blasting, dry ice blasting would be a good application and we said we certainly thought so. We came in and uh, we had a look. We completed the whole cleaning process um, and, and because there's there's no repainting needed we were able to clean every surface. We removed the insulation, cleaned every surface and did the whole job in six days um, for a fraction of what they were anticipating spending with the original plan. And so what the dry ice does that's really different is it eliminates steps and so in a typical fire cleaning for an insurance carrier um, you would have a cleaning step and then what they'd call a sealing step so kind of like primer and then painting and because the dry ice process doesn't damage the paint there's no chemical involved there's no moisture involved we're able to do all of those three steps the clean the seal the paint in one step by removing two of them and by landing the cleaning stage in one simple step and so when, when you do all of that and you combine it actually we end up being the cost-effective alternative